I'm uh, Yugo Yamashita uh, from the Department of Cardiovascular Medicine, Kyoto University. Uh, I'm a cardiologist. I'm a researcher of uh, venous thromboembolism. And the uh, current oncodiabetes diabetes study was a uh, study uh, investigating the optimal duration of uh, anticoagulation therapy for isolated distal DBT in the field of oncocardiology. Recently, the cancer patient is surviving longer uh, due to the improvement of the treatment of cancer, treat, uh, cancer. and thus uh, cardiovascular complication during the uh, treatment course of cancer is becoming more clinical relevant uh, in terms of uh, cardio-oncology. So among the cardiovascular complications, uh, isolated distal DBT uh, is uh, one of the more common uh, cardiovascular complications However, uh, there has been no randomized clinical trial in investigating this whole issue. So uh, we conducted the uh, OncoDBT study. OncoDBT study was uh, a phys uh, physician-initiated uh, uh, multi-center uh, superiority uh, educated uh, blinded uh, randomized clinical trial. So the included patient was uh, randomly assigned one-to-one uh, -one ratio to receive the either 12 months of edoxaban treatment or three months of edoxaban treatment for isolated distal DBT and evaluated the uh, primary end point of a composite of a symptomatic recurrent VTE or VTE related to this at 12 months uh, based on the intention to treat population analysis. Actually, we found the uh, superiority of a 12 months edoxaban treatment group to the three months edoxaban treatment group. So, uh, event rate is about uh, 1% in the 12 months edoxaban group, and uh, on the other hand, uh, about 8% uh, 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 in the 3 months edoxaban group treatment group. So we successfully uh, demonstrated the superiority of a longer duration of antibiotic therapy for isolated distal DBT with active cancer. As for the uh, major uh, secondary endpoint of uh, uh, major bleeding events, there was no significant difference between the two groups. Although uh, the incidence of uh, major bleeding uh, was uh, uh, numerically slightly higher in the 12 months edoxaban group as expected, but uh, there was no significant difference, so there was no safety concern uh, as uh, overall. I think uh, uh, from the ONGDBT study, basic concept that uh, uh, thrombotic risk is uh, higher in the patient with uh, isolated distal DBT. But the important thing uh, in the cancer patient, there is a variety of uh, cancer types, and uh, of course there is a uh, racial difference. So the generalizability of the current study to other population uh, should be carried out uh, carefully. The important message from the OncoDBT study is uh, uh, if you find the a uh, minor DBT, isolated distal DBT uh, in your patient, and uh, if they have uh, active cancer, you should be careful because the uh, uh, risk of uh, thrombotic risk is not low. That is a key uh, message from the OncoDBT study. So I, can, uh, I believe that the uh, current OncoDBT study result could change uh, practice guidelines as well as uh, uh, daily clinical practice. Maybe there is uh, some patient who can get more benefit on the other hand, there are some patients who uh, get less benefit. So it is important to uh, find out the more uh, beneficial patient, uh, the less beneficial patient through the uh, maybe sub-analysis of the OncoDBT study.